family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, we are going to be touring this tiny home. The name of this home is the Hacienda. I don't want to talk too much. I, I want to show you what we're talking about. So let's get into the video. <laughs> all right so this is the outside of the hacienda i just wanted to give you a view of the outside i'll, I'll try to do a walk around i think this one is backed up to another house but i'll try to show you as much as i can of the exterior of this home just to give you an idea of what it looks like now i can tell you that these homes come with i think i can squeeze through there these co homes come with a lot of options right um i'll put all the different options for color for exterior and interior on the screen here but you have I don't know somewhere between four and seven different options for color um, on these homes so you can really make them into what you want as you can see you have black burgundy green blue just choose the color that you want and make it the home that you want now this one you've already seen the casino this is a hacienda and it has a slightly larger porch on this one so look how you can turn your chairs you can put even more chairs, like really zhuzh up the outside of your home. Especially, I could see um, one of these homes on a nice piece of property, maybe have a pond or a lake in it. Um, and you can really take advantage of outdoor living and really put some lights out here on the porch, nice chairs and tables, and just really, really make it what you want it to be. So. This is your porch. This is how much space you have in the port on the porch. You have a window looking into the living room so you don't have natural light in there. But this is your porch, you guys. So let's go on in and take a look at the Hacienda. Now this Hacienda is 399 square feet. It's a 12 by 36. Plenty of space for, for your tiny home needs. So. We'll come in and spin around. Let's take a look at the living room. This one doesn't have uh, the wallpaper in it like the Casita did. It's all one color. But again, you have several options. So as far as wall colors, they have five different wall colors. We talked about exterior um, colors. Outside, you've got 20 different exterior colors, three roof colors seven options for countertops for cabinet colors just like all kind of options right so this is the living room you got that is a that is a love seat there you could actually put two two end tables on either side and you could actually put a larger couch on that wall if you want you can even put a small sectional in here I probably wouldn't because I wouldn't want to crowd it, but I probably would put a coffee table, a small coffee table in the middle. And then you've got your outlets over here to put your TV on the wall. So very nice. Lots of space in here. I'm actually backed up against the end table. Just want to show you how much space. Over here by the window, I could see uh, a small table and two chairs for my husband and I. I would also probably add a small island in here. Um, and that's why I wouldn't want a lot of additional furniture because I may. But then again, this kitchen does have a lot of counter space. So you just make do with what you got, right? You've got bottom cabinets, drawers. Uh, you've got a dishwasher and sink. The Hacienda does come with an option for a stove. Uh, it would be added in here and built to HUD, um, it's, uh, HUD certification if you chose to add a stove in here. You've got all of this cabinet space. Love it, love it, love it. Up top and bottom. And you've got that nice counter space over there next to the refrigerator. So very nice. Very nice. All right, let's go on into the 
bedroom here. Walking into the bedroom, you've got a lot of space in here. That is actually a queen size bed. You have a nightstand on one end and then you have space over there for your other nightstand or you can put a small desk in that area. Lots of space though. You've got your closet space here. So you've got stuff to hang, uh, uh, space to hang as well as um, space up top. You've got drawers and cabinets here. And then you've got a seating area with storage space top and bottom on this side. So lots of storage space. You've got space for a TV up there. They thought of everything. I absolutely love it. And you have a nice large window in here that makes it nice and bright. Now the Hacienda, this one has a ceiling fan in the bedroom and not the living room. But as you're having this custom build, if you choose to put a ceiling fan in the living room, you can absolutely talk to your contractors about making that happen. The bathroom's kind of dark, you guys, but I wanted you to see. You've got your sink and cabinet space there, toilet, large shower over there with a seating area. Really nice. You've got your handheld shower head in there and then space for your towels on that towel rack behind the door. Really nice. Got a window in here and then you've got all of this space over here for your clothes and storage. Really nice. If you want to put something up, a curtain or something there, or if you want to talk to them about maybe putting the sliding glass mirrors in here, um, you could absolutely request that and see if they could make it happen. So really nice. Again, this is a Hacienda. It's 399 square feet. It's a 12 by 36. And this home is $53,000. $900 plus tax. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this tour, you guys, because I certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. If you have any questions about this home, um, all the information to this uh, tiny home facility is down in the description box below, okay? Thanks so much for tuning in and watching this video. This is the Mobile Home Diva, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.